Hey guys, you're looking at Neo Stock, uh, Neo Stock price chart on the 20th, 20th November 2024, guys. Coming up to 17 minutes past 11 a.m. UK time. The numbers are out, and we've got a mixed reaction generally, but the stock fell. Well, it only really fell from the pre-market, from where it rose in the pre-market. I suppose it rose on anticipation because it rose up to four. Well, we're looking at the five-minute chart. Let's put it on the one-hour chart. It rose up to 480, actually 486, as you can see, the NEO stock in the pre-market and obviously it fell as low as 434 which was more or less that you know that level where it hit rock bottom i think twice previously in recent times as you could see i think it was twice let's go on the day chart put it on the day chart you can see um, here or, or, or over here you can see that 433 um, but it the market's not open yet on the day chart it doesn't show but 433 it hit once so it hit once, so it's hit it twice now. It's not going to reflect on the day chart. So I put it back on, say the hour chart shows pre-market. I mean, after market, which is now pre-market more or less. So it's hit that range again, that 434, as you can see. It pushed up a bit from, from there, it's turned green just gone up slightly but it's sort of it's obviously going down again between 436 to 448 that kind of range but basically i read the numbers it's kind of like a mixed bag of news but overall what i take away from it is that numbers are going up but you know steady slightly like not not a great deal you wouldn't expect a great deal um overall and obviously because they're expanding there's more kind of costs involved which is gonna push it down you know like somewhat um you know in the, in in the, in the in the, at this stage at this stage let's just say so yeah i mean you know the sales are going up sales are increasing um overall overall if you look at the bigger picture um and quarterly you know like doesn't look great like if you like you know focus on just short term doesn't look that great but <clears throat> obviously because neo are expanding you've got to look at the bigger picture and you've got to let it pan out as i say you're not going to expect i never expected great results and i think i expected that costs you know, costs were going to be high, etc. So the reaction thus far is what it is. It's been knocked down again. And obviously, like, the market is going to open in the UK. I mean, you know, not in the UK, I mean, in the US, the market's going to open in the US. Um, a few hours time 
So we see the reaction there. Obviously, if it gets knocked down a bit more, it's probably going to bounce up. Now the news is out of the way. Don't forget, you've got the firefly coming for, you know, Neo. You've got the firefly coming out December. So 21st of December. So I expect that that's going to be key to increasing sales moving forward. But sales are already increasing, guys. Sales are already increasing. So it's not an issue about sales not increasing. It's just that they're not increasing as high as people anticipate. Well, it is what it is, guys, basically, at the end of the day. It is what it is. So you've got to move forward, you know. And the stock price is going to do what the stock price is going to do. People are expecting miracles, right? And miracles don't, you know, don't happen overnight, basically, right? So Neo stock, are you buying the dips? That's the question. Are you buying the dips? And that was a, you know, if you're looking for long term, then it's a, you could say it's a, a gift, isn't it? Like getting in again. Could have bought, I don't know, about this pre-market, if it allows you to buy on your trading platform. You could have picked up 434. You could have picked up 434. Maybe you still can in the live market. But is it a good value? As I say, sales figures, you know, um, as I say, overall, they're increasing long term. You've got to look at it long term because the costs, you're going to have costs moving forward as they expand. Um, there's the um, there's the data someone posted there. You can read the data. Talking about loss from operations. Net loss. Someone's posted that's part two. They posted there's part one. You can see there vehicle sales. It's an increase there, you can see. Vehicle margin, total revenues. So it's not too bad, guys, overall. It's not too bad. As I say, like, I don't know what... If your expectations were high, if... I don't know what people expect, like, but if your expectations are too high, then that's why people expected miracles they're just not going to get miracles overnight it's a slow process so looking at the stock price which is you know says it all it's really just going to bounce in my opinion not financial advice it's just whatever level you know if it, even if it goes down a bit more it's just going to bounce up again it's just going to pick up again because it can't be held down can't be held down and um, also with stocks like if the news is not not all that good per se stocks don't always go down like you know don't always react or stay down they can actually rise um, and vice versa you know, sometimes when the news is too good, stocks can fall, prices can fall. So I think overall the news, if you analyse it, if you actually analyse it, as I said, the conclusion I reached when I, I read it, you know, the conclusion I reached was that... Um, it is as expected. 
you know, I didn't expect miracles. I think, I think I said in my other videos, it's probably going to take to the end of 2025 to see some real boost, you know, boost in profits, boost in sales, boost um, overall, you know, to push it out of the range. And I think that's going to happen with the Firefly and obviously expanding into other countries. Don't forget as well, guys, that Neo's been hit, like, in Europe. We're talking about tariffs. And then you're talking about tariffs in the US because they want would want to obviously sell in the US. So that's kind of halted expansion plans somewhat. So nonetheless, Neos are still, you know, progressively advancing into other countries, um, which you could say it's going to slow down sales because they, you know, because of the issues with tariffs in the US, etc., etc. But on the other hand, because they're expanding anyway in other countries, they they wouldn't be able to meet all the demand if they went into every country all at once. That, that, and that's the point. They can't go into every country all at once anyway. It's got to be in stages. So... It's not a matter of, oh, well, the certain countries I can't go into at the moment because of X, Y, Z issues. Um, so that's bad, you know. It doesn't work that way. Like, you're always going to face obstacles. So what they're doing is a progression. It's, a, it's, it's stages, it's stages, right? It's happening in stages, so... Neo are expanding in stages. So obviously they're going to expand where they can expand and then worry about where they can't expand later, which policies might change, you know, about tariffs, etc. So that's where we are. Are you buying the dips? Let me know in the comments, guys. Are you buying the dips um, when Neo's dipping? Because you know when it when it dips to this level... You know what happens, it goes up again. You've seen it. We've seen it, guys, like here. When it went to four $4.34.33, you could have bought the dip there. <clears throat> then what happened? It well it rose. It rose to four eighty six. So what's that? Uh fifty cents basically, a fifty cents gain. More or less fifty cents gain from four thirty three to uh, four eighty six, just over a fifty cents gain. Take away the spreads, you got maybe fifty cents, forty nine cents, whatever, right? Assuming you didn't get in right at the bottom. So let's say forty five cents. Assuming you didn't sell right at the top. Say say like you bought here. And then sold around here. So it's say 45 cents after the spreads, right? So if you would have bought the dip, there's a profit there, right? Going obviously a profit going up. If you're going short as well, well, you can make money on the way down, you can make money on the way up. And from the way up, I don't know if you would have shorted it back down, you could have made money, but if you're just long. Now, obviously, you could have bought in at 4.33 to 4.30, you know, upwards, and then sold on this peak here, or towards this peak. And then now is another buying opportunity. You call it a dip, and you see it rising already. So it's up to, not financial advice, but are you buying the dips, even if you're not selling uh, when it goes back up? Are you buying the dips to, to hold, you know, diamond hands, guys? Let me know in the comments. Um, you know, are you riding the wave? Are you riding the wave, loading up on the dips to get in cheaper, to buy more, to lower your average or buy more cheap prices? And 434, around that 
sort of range, four fifty, whatever. It's it's only 50, thirty cents or fifty cents higher than it was sit when it was sitting around four dollars. So it's 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 really cheap considering how high it could spike to. You've already seen seven seventy with Neo stock, you know, rising from about three three uh, three seventy. 370 to 770 so you're seeing it like push four dollars guys you know all right it's come back down but are you buying the dips that's the question with neo stock so yeah let me know in the comments guys and um just gonna see how it goes when the market opens uh proper you know later on but I think this kind of fall um could be replicated it could fall again when the market opens on the other hand it could you know look the news is out of the way and i think clever you know the, <clears throat> the clever money already probably anticipated the, the the um the results you know the numbers and as i say it's a long-term play don't expect miracles so let's see what happens guys later on when the market opens proper but look you know sales are increasing and they're gonna obviously increase more as neo expands neo really they're not in a lot of countries like they're not in a lot of countries in Europe, right? They're only in a handful of countries, really, in Europe at the moment. And obviously, like, China is a big market. But when you're talking about outside of China, they're not really in, in a lot of countries. Like, obviously, they've got plans to expand in other countries. And they've done deals, you know, in some countries. But at the moment, they're not really... They're not in a lot of countries, guys. It's so, so the point is, it's early days. It's early days. If you're just introspecting and looking at these, like, prices, you know, going back down, then you're kind of like, you're not looking at the bigger picture. You're not looking at the long term. Because I'm not saying, like, there's going to be another pump to $66. I think the stock could go a lot higher, but steadily, like, steady climbs over time. What I'm saying is, like, if you're expecting a pump, like, overnight, like, $66, like, it might not happen. The stock price in EO could go a lot higher. But over time, guys, you know, we could talk about two years, three years, as they expand in more and more countries. So that's the point. If you're looking for some kind of pump, then you might have to go and look at crypto or whatever. But... But I'm not saying it's not going to happen. I'm not saying it's not possible that Neo could go like up again a lot like it did before. But obviously, I'm more thinking about long-term, long-term holders. Like, um, you know, rather than um, some kind of pub, like jumping on to ride some up-wave rocket ship or whatever. Which I'm not saying it is, can't happen. I'm not saying it's not possible. Um, you see the one week chart. Like here, you know, there's people that bought here and then it dropped and maybe they sold and it went all the way down to like, you know, one, like just over one dollar, et cetera. And then they thought, oh, this is no good. <laughs> why, why am I in this stock? etc etc and then what happens i mean even here they could have they could have left the lot here for two dollars fifty and then bang it shoots up rocket rocket shit but don't forget guys this was in 2020 it happened to a lot of stocks with it's a different situation now all right we've seen some cryptos go up because of trump and and this like wasn't all because of Trump, by the way, because Trump was already in. Trump was already in and, and more or less Trump was going out in 2020 towards the end of 2020. 
but this was because this was because of covid guys right as i said in previous videos you've got to understand how all this works if you're just thinking about oh look what you've done then it's going to do it again like guys like people were in lockdown there was a lot of money a lot of savings people weren't spending as much and they were like working from home or, or, or whatever and there, there was a lot of money around right and it went into the stock market it went into cryptos and that certain stocks got pumped right and this was one of them and there was quite a few stocks that got pumped and that, that's why it got pumped like this right that's why you see the rise and um so a lot of people now they're looking for this rise again they're looking for it in crypto they're looking for it in neo but and that's the problem. Like they're, they're, they're looking around for stocks that are going to shoot up, right? And as I said, the re you've got to look at the reason behind why it, this stock and other stocks, you know, shot up, like went to the moon. Let's say, as I said, it's because there was a lot of money in the lockdown, right? And that's where the that's where the money went. Now, if you say if you if you say right, this kind of spike's not going to happen again, which is a pump and dump, really. Then you've got to look at proper growth, right? You've got to look at proper growth. And Neo hasn't made a move yet, right? Neo hasn't made a move in that sense because the level. You know, this chart goes back. The level was like just what thirteen seventy, and then fell to one dollar fifteen. Now it's uh, you know four dollars thirty, four dollars forty, but had been seven seventy. You got to look at what's happening now, recent times. You can't go back and look at this big up, you know, tick. $66 because as I said it's, it's a different situation you've got to take it from here and what's going on in Neo you've got to take it from here you've got to take it from let's take it from April let's say when the stock fell all the way down from that $66 back to levels it was familiar with you know got, like before it, it was pumped when it was pumped in June, started to move around about May, June, right? So if you take it from April, where we are now, uh, you know, in 2024, if you take it from April where it fell, to say roughly, you know, 360, 365, then what's happened since 360, you know, 365, what's happened? Well, that's exactly what's happened, as you can see there. The stock rose to around six from 360. That's two, 250, 240. And then it fell back down again to 370. And then it's pushed up to 770. And now it's back down again. So that's what's happened if you take it from April, right? So if you take it from April, you can see generally the stock is moving up right if you if you point it here it's 360 365 if you can visualize it you can see the actual stock is moving up it's, it's don't say go from here to here but if you take it from that point there even to where it is now you can see that it's a gradual although it doesn't look like it it's a gradual um increase gradual increase even if you forget like these peaks here um so that's where we are if you take if it's to say if you take it from april that's where we are it's gradually increasing you can see it here there's an indicate indication of it here in august where you see that diagonal diagonal right you know rising telling you where it wants to go up and then it does go up it makes a big move 
obviously it's come back down now but um, you're going to see that like pushing up higher higher in my opinion gradually climbing um, but it's not ready obviously to make the move yet like to leave this kind of area you know this zone it's got a, it, it left it here but it's come back down but it's got to leave obviously 550 where the line is there you know the white line it's got to leave that 550 you know area but it's going to take time it's going to take time because you might get a spike up you might get a spike up, but then obviously it's going to come back down it like it does here. So long term, you've got to see like a climb, a steady climb, and it all be it like a spiky climb. But you've got to, it's got to be long term, guys. You know you can't you can't just eat, like even that even that pump and dump that just didn't happen in one day, right? It started here, say May. Right, started in May, and at the peak, if you say like the peak, at the peak, at the peak was around January. So it's like six, seven months, guys. That was it. Took six, seven months to reach the peak. All right. So we're only from April. You know. We got to 770, but obviously it's come back down. But the journey really, it just, you could say it starts in April. You could say it starts in August. You could say it starts now, the journey. As I say, Neo, they're not, they're not in many countries, right? They're only in a handful of countries in Europe. They've got plans, obviously, to expand in Europe like more countries and and the UK and obviously America but aside from Europe Neo you know, they're not in that many countries outside of China. So that those you know expansion is going to take time, right? It's going to take time. And um, as time goes on and sales increase, obviously that profits increase with parts. And then the um, semiconductors, licensing and partnerships. All these things take time. It's not overnight, guys. It's not overnight. So that's, that's the issue, right? That's the issue. So, anyway, guys, are you buying the dips? That's the question, right? If you believe in Neo long term, you'll be looking at dips, buying the dips. So, are you buying the dips, like, for long term? Or are you buying the dips to, like, swing trade, you know, when the stock goes up? 50 cents or whatever you want to offload and make like small gains you know five ten percent or whatever so let me know in the comments guys